Previously, your group uh, showed some evidence that patients with Alzheimer's disease, um, you could increase the aluminium excretion by uh, giving these patients, as I recall, um, high silica containing water. Um, so I wonder whether the uptake of the aluminium in the THP1 cells could be inhibited by silica particles. Uh, so that's a, a very good point. Um, the research that was done with uh, mineral water that's rich in um, silicic acid uh, was actually via a PhD student in Professor X's group, uh, Dr. Samantha Devonward. Uh, but you do raise an interesting point to use hydroxy alumina silicates within these systems. Uh, that's something that we're interested to explore. The reaction between silicon or soluble silicon is, is with silicic acid. Silicon surrounded by four OH groups. When silicic acid polymerizes, it forms silica. These terms are often used as meaning the same thing. They're, they're clearly not. Silica is, of course, a well-known adjuvant. And it acts as an adjuvant because of its physical properties, because of its shape and the way in which it's potentially able to damage membranes. And it's a crystalline or semi-crystalline form. So the work that Matthew showed you, where we essentially had the aluminium, the AO hydrogel adjuvant with the amyloid was simply a way of being able to not only demonstrate, which we did for the first time, that the aluminium adjuvants are internalized, but also that you can show the same thing in the presence of an antigen. Now, the question with relation to silicon-rich mineral water and uh, protection against Alzheimer's disease is probably somewhat you know, different from that. What might be interesting for everyone, of course, to uh, think about is that we have been preparing vaccinations against Alzheimer's disease for nearly 30 years now, primarily in animal models, but there have been some human studies too. And these have nearly always involved an amyloid with an aluminium adjuvant. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that first, that's the first time anyone has shown the co-localization of these two materials together in this form inside a cell. Uh, we may be able to learn something as to why perhaps none of these vaccine trials have been successful. We may. It's early days. So you think uh, silicon-based adjuvant would maybe be a good option then. Sorry, I didn't hear that. You think that a silicon-based adjuvant then in Alzheimer's disease would be an option? Listen, I, I, it's a completely different story. I am, as many people will know, 100% convinced that if you drink a silicon-rich mineral water every day, about a liter of it, you will protect yourself against Alzheimer's disease. I'm 100% convinced of that. Um, first of all, congratulations for so clear presentation of the effects of volume from the chemical point of view. Uh, my curiosity, did you compare the, your data on the alumin-induced effects on at the cell level and so on with another adjuvant like squalene? which is a completely different, since it is a, a organic uh, adjuvant. And so perhaps uh, it would be of help to compare with the inorganic one. Just very quickly, no. Oh, OK. You know, <laughs> okay. We, we love aluminum. We, we don't look at anything else. Yeah. <laughs> just, oh. But you're right. Obviously, comparisons are important. Mm -hmm.